Saskatchewan is an engaged, vibrant, and thriving community. And we make a stronger community when we work together. So ladies and gentlemen, being vibrant, engaged, and thriving community just doesn't happen. It takes good leadership. Leadership that can think big, dream big, and have a clear vision for the future. It takes leaders with passion and the willingness to listen to you, our businesses, our industry, our residents. It's about being able to balance needs and our wants for the now and for the long-term future. And it's about making sure we get it right. So under the Capital Region Growth Plan, Fort Saskatchewan is a priority growth area. We have industry, we have jobs, we have the ability to grow. So what does this mean for you? It means we get priority funding. Funding for the new hospital. Funding for the new seniors lodge. Funding for our new city public workshop. Funding for the move up program. Funding for water, sewer, and roads infrastructure, which will support our growth. And we do thank the province often for all of these funding that we receive. The spin-offs and the benefits from the investment in our community are being noticed. Residential growth was up 9.9% over the last two years. Increased housing starts with a diverse range of housing options. We are attracting younger families to Fort Saskatchewan and we are keeping our younger youth here because of the quality of life and jobs. We are retaining our senior population, and we are moving forward with a new seniors lodge. We have new hotels, new restaurants, new commercial businesses, and this is making us a hub for regional shopping and for recreation. New medical facilities. Just think, we can finally have ultrasounds, heart echograms, CAT scans, and other medical procedures done in Fort Saskatchewan. The new city hall and expanded library upgrades to our new sportsplex. The new mix 107.9 radio station. You talk about a game changer for a mid-sized city. That will do it for us. The new West River's Edge Pavilion, home of the Nordic Ski Club and Lions Trout Pond. New serviced industrial lands along Joseph Bird Road. And I thank Transamerica for your commitment to our community. We are looking forward to Yanda Canada starting construction. And of course, I'm especially proud that we will be having a grand opening for Access Pipeline's regional office later this year. Our economic development team has been working very closely with Transamerica to have shared marketing strategies and promote the city of Fort Saskatchewan so that we can all benefit from having new industry within our community. We have renewed commitment from our existing industry and businesses as well. Dow Chemical demonstrated their commitment to Fort Saskatchewan last year by committing a $100 million turnaround and it added over $3 million into our local economy. Heartland Ford, we are looking forward to seeing the construction and your relocating your new dealership along Highway 21 and Welcher Boulevard. The Tier family completed the third floor on the Integrity Land Building on 99th Avenue. Businesses are taking advantage of the storefront improvement program and upgrading their businesses and expanding where they currently are. So if you think 2012 was big, then 2013 will even be bigger. There has been over $20 billion of new industrial announcements. And although some of them will start in 2013, they are generally multi-year projects. And I know that they're not all in Fort Saskatchewan, but our community does see the benefits. It isn't just good in Fort Saskatchewan, 
Life is great. And as our new branding says, you gotta love it. So I hope you've taken an opportunity today to take a look at what some of our new branding is all about. The new vibrant colors, talking about our people, talking about our businesses. So as you see us walking around, absolutely, our colors are red, the yellows, the blues, because that's what we're all about. We want to be that vibrant community that's being noticed. We do have re renewed enthusiasm. And as we move forward, we want to continue the momentum, but we never want to lose sight of the community that we are. Welcoming and complete. Stewards of the environment and using our resources wisely. But more so, remembering that our community is designed for people, and we are community with spirit. We are committed to our citizens working together to ensure our community is safe and embracing sustainability so future generations' needs will be met. It's about having integrity and it's about taking responsibility for our actions and having us model the way. It's about serving our community and doing it with enthusiasm and it's about forging a strong culture of communication that engages our community. It's about having determination and striving for results, but having the flexibility to know when we have to change or to adapt. I know that our council and administration are striving to take our community to a new level and achieve a best-in-class municipality that delivers high quality, open and transparent services and communications. We are working closely with the Downtown Business Council to ensure that our downtown is a destination point. We will see phase three of the old fort constructed this year, and it will be very exciting to see a new bronze statue to commemorate our rich history. Another statue will be placed on 102nd Street Parkade, Parquette and yet another on 99th Avenue. We have also committed to continue providing funding for the Fall Festival. Because of our rich history, we also believe it is important to work closely with our historic society to move the 10-year guiding document for the historic precinct forward. We're planning the Phase 3 of the Northwest Mounted Police Fort. We're also reviewing the interpretive opportunities, and we're linking all our historic landmarks and historical points downtown, and it is, is underway. We will ensure our city continues to be a vibrant community with a quality of life that we can all be proud of. Exciting things are on the horizon, and they include the official opening, reopening of the Sportsplex, opening of the City Hall and expanded library to bring many of our municipal services under one roof, while providing a key anchor to our downtown, starting construction of the Seniors Lodge, and of course the RCMP detachment, which will also house municipal enforcement. We are adding new trails for our residents and for the region to enjoy with an investment of $3.3 million. Evolving the West River's Edge into a world-class site through our partnerships with the River Valley Alliance and the Nordic Ski Club. And of course, what I'm really looking forward to is naming the fire hall after Walter Thomas, a city icon today. But what about tomorrow? Let's dream big about the future. The future of our Dog Centennial Center and what it could bring to our community. A new swimming pool, more sports fields, twinning of the arena. What would an expanded Jubilee Recreation Center look like? And it doesn't stop there. As we make plans for the future, it must include you, our residents, our businesses, our industry, and our land developers. 
Your input is critical on the planning and policy documents. So many of you know we are working currently on our land use bylaw. We are going to be working on the area structure plans. We are currently reviewing our service level standards and our performance to determine where there are any gaps. We're refining our multi-year budgeting. We're creating a long-term financial sustainability plan and we're enhancing our website and streamlining our processes. So each of these documents holds a big part of the big picture for the future. And the community's input is vital. We do receive feedback that Fort Saskatchewan is one of the best cities in the region to work with because we are responsive and we are flexible. We pull together a team of experts that are needed to help businesses and investors get up and running. We are listening and we will continue to listen and with your input, we will get it right. The vision for the future will include moving towards a regional transit service, coordinating our GIS, working with our regional land use planning, and lobbying for new transportation and cor transportation corridors, which include another bridge for Fort Saskatchewan, and working to improve the traffic flows along Highway 37 and Highway 15 interchange. We will continue to lobby for grants from the provincial and federal governments because we know we need to maintain our critical infrastructure. We will also work with our municipal partners to build a strong regional voice. And as modeled by the signing of our Common Bonds Agreement with Strathcona County, we will be addressing common issues and needs relating to what the future holds for us. So it is an exciting time to be the mayor. And in the last couple years, we have raised our profile. We've raised it within the region, within Alberta, within Canada, and in the United States. And we will continue to do more regional and national profiling. And although many people like to reminisce about the past, our citizens have also been very, very clear about their community wants. And they want us to keep up with their demands. Their list includes a new swimming pool, upgrades to the curling rink. Recently, we've had a new request for an art gallery, a home for families first, more work on the 1875 fort, more parks, more playgrounds. We desperately are asking someone to build a bowling alley, a larger skateboard park, a youth center, the next level seniors housing, and a greater variety of clothing stores. And the list simply goes on. So some of these wants are going to be taken care of through the city's long-term capital budget, but others are going to need businesses to invest in them. So I have to ask, do you see yourself in the future vision? Do you have something to offer to this discussion? So I'm open to having that conversation with you, as are my colleagues. So in closing, I'll share my dream I want to live in a community that inspires, that is compassionate and that looks after its citizens. I want the city of Fort Saskatchewan to be a community demonstrating brave leadership and offering countless possibilities for the future. Yes, we have a plan. There is work to do in the city and I am rolling up my sleeves. We're all in this for the long haul, and I look forward to playing my part to bringing our vision to reality. As Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning, keeping it together is progress, but working together is success. So I thank you for your commitment to making our dream, our vision, our future, our success our Fort Saskatchewan.